I don't know about you, but we love homemade sourdough breads and French style baguettes. It often feels like making them is as enjoyable as eating them. The only problem is that it's almost impossible to keep baked goods viable for longer than a day, meaning crunchy outside and yet airy soft and moist inside. So this is an attempt to come up with a way to properly store baguettes and breads in general. The key factor here is humidity, as you all probably know. When you put bread in a typical bread box, it gets moldy faster than one would think. In addition, excessive humidity in a box alters the taste of legit baguette or bread. I've made this bread box with Brazilian mahogany wood, saturated the inside of the box with food-grade mineral oil, so the box doesn't take any moisture in, and applied a water-based final coat on the outside of the box. Inside of the box there is a raised bed with a drilled wood sheet to allow some air cushioning and ventilation when you put bread in. The lid is snug and dovetail side joints are pretty tight as well, so we can assume some kind of isolation from the outside factors. The outside humidity and temperature will be measured via a sensor that sits next to the bread box. A little bit about the initial testing setup that failed. I've used a SHT31D temperature and humidity sensor inside the box and hooked it up to a Raspberry Pi computer. The data from the Raspberry Pi sensor is being scraped every 10 seconds with Prometheus and then Grafana is using this Prometheus Raspberry Pi server as a data source to visualize the data. Where I got it wrong is that in order for this humidity sensor to properly work, it needs a short periodic signal to be sent so the surface of the measuring element gets heated and accumulated surface moisture evaporates. If you look at the data in Grafana, uh, so this is one day. Uh, basically, this box was completely sealed. I didn't make hole yes, yet. And as you can see, it kind of makes sense, right? The humidity keeps rising. We started at 55% and it went up to what is like almost 60. Makes sense. Uh, then the second day, I drilled holes at the bottom and the top and keep measuring the, with the same uh, water container and it keep rising and to me it was like surprisingly uh, it doesn't make really sense and so I started googling around and yes I got it wrong because I didn't set, send that uh, warm up the surface of the sensor signal every minute or so. So instead I used the sensor push uh, which is still pretty accurate it's a Bluetooth device if you look we full humidity I think in this range, right, from 20 to 80, yeah. So it's plus minus 3% uh, the, the accuracy and temperature plus minus 7. Uh, pretty accurate, I would say. Uh, so from this picture, you can get an idea for temperature because the temperature was accurate from Raspberry Pi, but the humidity here is not accurate. So temperature, as you can see, we were in between like 24 to the lowest was like 19. So it's like uh, 5 five degrees Celsius the range from between day and night and as the outside humidity was roughly the same it was both the both days were pretty stable so I don't consider any outside factors to be any different on these two days but anyways this is failed attempt now to the actual tests I've drilled some holes at the bottom uh, below the raised bed as well as some holes at the top next to the lid hoping that this would introduce some kind of micro drift of air. Put a container with water, close the lid and observe humidity and temperature for 24 hours. So let's look at the results. Uh, with sensor push instead of that uh, Raspberry Pi sensor. In here we have last three days outside the box just measuring ambient temperature and humidity and as you can see like on average we have around 54% humidity, no crazy spikes, uh, normal day and the temperature uh, between anywhere like average let's say 21 Celsius. Now what I did is actually 
since I always drilled, drilled the holes in the box, I put container with water and I put a sensor push inside and close the lid. And this is, I think, two days. Uh, as you can see, so let's ignore this part. Uh, I probably put the water somewhere here and it slowly start rising, but nothing crazy. It's like kind of like plateau, I would say, around like 55% humidity. And temperature is uh, the same, 21 Celsius during this uh, measuring time. So, but the best way to test it is actually to put bread inside, right? So I put two freshly baked baguettes and they were completely cooled off. And this is a data, humidity data. It's kind of very interesting when I first looked at it. So uh, I put baguettes around here because I didn't realize the surface of baguettes is so much larger than my testing water container. And you can see how humidity just went up crazy from 50% all the way to like uh, 76 in two days. And every time you see a drop, it's probably me opening the lid uh, and we eating bread basically. I would say on average uh, we open the lid a day, I don't know, maybe like four or five times. And those two days, uh, this is basically the result, that ambient temperature is the same, to an, around 21. And so we went from 51, like 52 ambient temp, uh, humidity all the way to 70. That's what actually causing the all of the mold and uh, bad taste and uh, sogginess. Uh, it's the surface area. There's just way too much surface area comparing to anything like I've tested. And so this is the last two pieces of bread after two and a half days of baguette, basically. They were still not bad, like better than any store baguette for sure. But I would say it was a success. So those holes at the bottom and the top, uh, I think it's just enough to keep it viable for like, I don't know, two plus days. So I'll keep testing and maybe I'll post uh, another like long-term review if I drilled any more holes or it was enough. All right, thanks for watching guys.